Someone got a Texas toddler drunk off alcohol. Vodka. This is ratchet, dumb news. Are you folks ready for some ratchet news? Sure you are. This is dumb news. I'm your host, Tim Black. All right, let's go to Texas. We have a 17-year-old mother. She, her name is Sharon Shade Jefferson. She's the mother of a one-year-old toddler. Her sister, name is Shamara Batiste. Now, Shamara takes the baby to the baby daddy's house. Baby daddy notices something is wrong with the baby. He contacts the 911, contacts 911, they come, they check the baby. Baby is unresponsive. Baby smells of alcohol. Baby is throwing up. Baby is drunk. So, it, it appears, based on the testimony, uh, Miss Sade says that Shamara admits to giving the child alcohol, vodka. Now, on what planet is that okay? I don't know. I don't live there. Not on this planet. It's not okay. It's illegal. This is child endangerment, child neglect, child abuse. This baby could have died. The toxicology report says that the baby had over six times the amount of alcohol in its system that it should have. Baby should have no alcohol in its system. Maybe a trace amount from maybe Tylenol from NyQuil. And I know some of you ghetto moms give your child alcohol. You know, so you can get your freak on, hoping the baby go to sleep while you entertain some strange ghetto shit. Anyway, what really bothers me about this story is that the smile on the face of this shitty ass aunt. What is funny about this situation? How is this a joke? This baby could have died of alcohol poisoning. And you smile? You smile? This is funny? Look on the face of this judge. That judge ain't smiling. Now, Sharonda Sade Jefferson, she says she had no knowledge of it, that she wasn't there, that she says that the Shamara did this without her knowledge, it wasn't her alcohol, blah, 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 blah. Do you know that Shamara is a shitty babysitter? Were you present? How did you take the child to your baby to your baby daddy house without knowing that the child was drunk? Couldn't you tell something was wrong with the child? And if you didn't tell something was wrong with the child, that says you're not too good of a mother. You're not a caregiver. You're a caretaker aware. These women jeopardize the life of this child. And I don't like the fact that people are making light of it. This is not a light situation. This baby could have died from the poor parenting, horrible parenting, and neglect of these women. Low life scum type women like this are the reason why we got so many problems. Kids, they don't thrive. They barely survive when raised by hood rat hoochies like this. Now, Tim, you shouldn't call them hood rat hoochies. I'll call them what I want to call them. They almost killed this child. Now, the prosecutor says that the child is now in the custody of the father. Now, I don't know how good that is. He did have the sense to call 911, but he did also have the nonsense to bid this woman. Oh, because she got a big ass. So what? The type of woman that gets you shot type of woman that makes poor decisions well you know what enough talk by the power invested in me i sentence both of these ratchet ass females to flusher them for being the type of woman that would actually give a toddler alcohol for being the type of mother who would be so absent from the experience from the ongoings of their child that they would allow their child to be in danger and not take that child themselves to the hospital and for being such a ratchet, low-life bitch that you would actually smile knowing this child is being taken from his mother for something you did. You're a scum of the earth, and for that, may you reside in the sewer where you belong. Bam! <laughs>